Hello fellow Beard Brothers out there and I just wanted to make this video here today and talk a little about aging in the beard and this whole idea. I'm about to turn 49 years old and my beard has turned white. My hair is staying not white. I don't dye my hair but my beard I don't dye either but the beard is uh, turning white like it used to be pepper and gray. Now it's literally turning white. And I love when I see guys with white beards. I think it's it's uh, really cool. And I think it's really nice and it shows a lot of wisdom. But as we're getting to this question of age or this idea of aging and getting a little bit older, uh, I don't want to call it an insecurity, but we want to kind of hold on to looking young as much as possible. And this is a situation I find myself in currently right now. Uh, I, I have a health channel and I talk about health videos and, and things like this. And the way I look has a lot to do with my ministry. I don't want to call it a business. I want to say my ministry and, and convincing other people that if you eat healthy and live healthy, you can look healthy and be healthy. But of course, if I don't look the part, if I don't look healthy, if I don't look younger than I am, why will people come to me for the fountain of youth? So uh, the question comes in, you know, not about neatness of the beard, because I've trimmed up my beard over the years and uh, I've gotten it neater. I actually lately let the sides grow in here. I used to trim it here, but I'm letting the sides grow in. I'm, I'm liking the look. But uh, having a good beard is a great extension of our health in general. But the average person is going to take a quick look at you. And obviously, if it's not clean shaved, not clean shaven, if it's not clean trimmed, right away they consider you a bum or somebody else. But when it is clean trimmed, What's the next thing they'll look at? They're going to look at the color. He must be old because he has a white beard. I mean, without this beard, I literally can pass for, oh, at least, I mean, come on. I don't think I look like a almost 50-year-old like that. But then the beard, oh, he must be 10 years older than he actually is. I am not shaving my beard. I am not getting rid of my beard. I am actually going to do things to uh, nutritionally and see, just see if it has any effect on the color change or anything. But I'm not dyeing my beard. I'm not shaving my beard. But if I'm reaching this dilemma right now, and, and part of it is that I am a health teacher and I want to look younger than I actually am, but most men want to look younger than they actually are. And having a beard doesn't always accomplish that. Of course, if, if my beard was black, I would look younger. And, you know, the simple answer for many men that want a beard is they'll just dye it. Same thing with your hair. If your hair's turning gray, you want your hair, you just dye it. And that's not the worst answer uh, for many people. That's not the worst answer. I'm not, I mean, part of the reason I have a beard is it's easy to maintain or easier to maintain than shaving. So I'm not going to dye it and get in all that stuff and, and do all that. And I don't think it's healthy either to dye it. And I want to be true and authentic to myself. And I know uh, in life when the right situation and opportunities present themselves, people will accept my beard just the way it is and embrace it, in fact. But I know many of you men watching are, are young and you want to have a beard. But as you get older, some of you uh, can't imagine me without a beard, but some of you start questioning. Well, I would look younger if I if I shaved. Now, I know if I, if I shaved, I would look a lot younger. And my health message might go over a bit better, but no, 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 no. I am not shaving. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, and I'm not really struggling with this, this idea. It's just that people uh, are looking at me and counting me for a picture of health. And so I want to maintain the healthy look, even though if my beard's white. And I think uh, being in this transition stage right now of, of, of mostly white and a little black is almost in that transition stage of, of a little bit longer than just the shadow, but not really long yet. And it's kind of, it doesn't look as good. And I think it looks great, uh, but uh, it, it's, it's certainly going to look better when it's all white. Uh, or it would have all black and the, the mixture of the color. And I see a lot of men with a beard like this. And I, I love my beard, folks. And I still love my beard. And uh, it's very acceptable and accepted in today's times. I made another video about that. But I want to encourage all of you out there that are watching that, uh, you know, don't don't doubt or, or struggle with the idea of, of age, of age. You know, people say, oh, it's great wisdom to be a, a older. It's great wisdom. Uh, and even health. You can be healthy. Look, folks, I'm a modest, modest person, so I'm not taking off my shirt. 
But let's just say, I mean, I go to the gym, I work out, and I do have muscles. So let's just say I I didn't have a beard, and I took off my shirt, and people could say, well, that young guy there has a great body. Now, with this beard, if I took off my shirt, people say, wow, that man is not that young, and look at his young body. See, it's, it's, it, it, it even makes you look better. It's more impressive, right? So, again, I'm not condoning or I don't walk around without a shirt, but uh, I, I, I love, love having a beard. Uh, and it's interesting, too. I mean, this is a side note. It's interesting that I don't have any gray hair on my head, but I have a, 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 a white beard. And I see that quite often in men that are growing goatees and stuff. They say, hey, what can I do? Uh, my goatees come in, but I'm going to have to shave it because it's, it's some gray in the goatee. I mean, is it just natural that we get gray hair in our beard before we get it in our in, in our hair? I mean, I'm actually starting to get, <laughs> like my dad, I'm starting to get like gray chest hairs. And that's never happened to me before. And it's just starting now. I mean, does it make it way, its way up and the hairs last? I don't know, but... Uh, but yes, it's uh, it's an interesting time, and I, I just the age thing. Maybe it's around coming up around the birthday time, so I'm gonna be 49 next month, and and uh, but I still feel great. I still I, I literally feel better now than I ever have in my whole life, and I'm in better shape than I am ever, and and I just feel amazing, uh, and, and I do believe I look amazing. I'm very pleased with the the beard and the way it looks, and. Uh, and, and, and I'm back to just being more natural and just not trimming here right now. And I'm happy with that. I mean, you know, different seasons, different times, but I feel good. And I want you guys to feel good too and be encouraged. And, uh, you know, even if you want to trim it, if you want to color it, if you want to whatever, but do not get rid of your beard. That's what's meant to be there. And, uh, you know, it's very interesting. I'm even seeing uh, transgender men completely change everything and say they're women and they're dressing like women, but they won't get rid of their beard. So, uh, so uh, that's, that's very impressive and a big thing. I'm not impressed that they're trying to be women, but impressed that they love their beard so much. They're like, what? I'm really a woman in a man's body. I'll get rid of my clothes. I'll get rid of my genitals before I get my, before I get rid of my beard. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's uh, very interesting. So, uh, that's my uh, clip for today, and uh, if you have a comment or question, post it below. And until then, subscribe to this channel and let other people know that what I'm doing here and uh, I'm trying to get the message out about it. If there's any other topics about the beard you'd like me to discuss, please let me know. Until then, everybody, beard on.